Okay, we're live. Uh, welcome to the Thursday edition strike. Uh, yeah. Uh, all I can say is I had technical difficulties of having to run out to the store the last minute. That's my technical difficulties. Sorry about that. So I just got back. I ran as fast as I could. Unfortunately, I didn't get here on time. So there you go. It's just, it happens. Life gets in the way. You know, so I'm blaming budgets, technical difficulties. So there you go. Budget doesn't mind. He don't care. He's got enough tech. Te technical difficulties to go around. There we go. That's that's better. It's, it's totally Budget's fault for that comment, and yeah, yeah Budget, if you're going to make that comment, you know, make it to my face, not in the chat. If you're going to rib, do it in person, not, not in text. Not like that. So, anyways. There's the link out there for anyone that wants to jump in. I have nothing to talk about tonight. I'm not prepared. Anyways, just jump in if you want to talk. If you don't, I don't care. Been running around all day, so, yeah. Uh, emails, emails. No emails. Well, except the... Uh, the emails that are going on on uh... hey Jason you got any emails or jokes or memes or whatnot to to post okay as long as they're PG thirteen evening buddy how you doing Oh, I've got an email link. He can't. He... <sighs> can't even do that. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right. It's just, it's been a hell of a week. So, so are, are you going to be unavailable in an, in half an hour? Um, no, I'm still going to be around. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do my show though tonight. Uh, uh, I have uh, I have some things I gotta get prepared for for tomorrow, and uh, um, uh, well, I have a funeral for a friend, and um, um, I'm still working on uh, what to say, and I just want to get that really buttoned up before I try to go to sleep tonight. Right, 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 right. I don't blame you. Not to be a bummer or anything. Uh, uh, you're you're, you're, total, you're, to, you're total bummer. Yeah. Total, total bummage right here. Yeah. Well, uh, we don't need to be. We, we can all still have a good time. God bless America. Yeah. 
<laughs> Seriously? It won't let it down. Mr. Technical Difficulties is over there. No, I'm deliberately covering my camera with my finger because, well, it won't let me turn the damn camera off for some reason. It's a new phone. It, it won't let you turn the camera off. It, I, I, I'm, use, I'm using it on my phones, and, you know, I've even got your phone with Android 9 on it. It should do the job. I don't know why. Yes, I, I know it should, but it isn't. I'm here madly tapping on the stop camera button, and it's not doing shit. I'm even trying to hang up, and it's not doing shit. Probably going to have to turn my phone off to disconnect. You know, I could send you the call-in method. Yeah, that would actually probably work better. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have to turn my phone off to do this because I can't run a camera. I'm at work. Yeah. There. Email sent. Oh wait, your camera's off now. Okay, it worked. Eh, he jumped out. That's why. I just got a notice that DM Foss out there just subscribed. Thank you very much, buddy. Uh, I believe that just put me at 100 subscribers. So I'm pumped. I'm thrilled. Uh, uh, I have to do a celebration. Yep. Uh, I'm going to have to do a 100 sub giveaway for sure. Yeah. So, there you go. That should work. Let me check. Well, Foss, I appreciate it, bud. I'll have to go make sure that uh, they didn't unscribe me from you, too. Yeah. YouTube plays such stupid games, man. Okay, the dial-in's not working. That's odd. That's another thing I got to fix. All right, great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Roland Trip. It's, it's not been great. No. Nope. But uh, Jason finally made 100 subscribers, so congrats, congrats, congratulate Jason. Uh, I don't know why it's not working. All right. So, yeah, uh, I didn't know. If it's not working, it's not working. So, that's not good. I did have to resub to DM Foss. So apparently YouTube must be having some kind of delete your thing going on. Oh, YouTube does that all the time to people. They, they like to mess with people like that. So.
Anyways, so what are the topics that people want to talk about this evening? I have no topics. Hmm. Seems the topic uh, everyone's on is politics. I guess it's that season. But, uh, yeah, everybody's tired. But, uh, uh, you know, there used to be a time when we had gun discussions. And, you know, we talked about new guns and new guns coming up. But, you know, that atmosphere has been squashed lately, too, with the availabilities, you know. So, uh, you know, we, we kind of been forced into politics. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we got a holiday weekend coming up. Uh, you know, I hope everybody's got something planned, maybe some good relaxation and, or, or something. I'm going to try to um, uh, stop by my friend's campground, stay the night, uh, maybe do some fishing once or twice. All right. You got any plans for Monday? No. No plans. No plans. I got nothing I'm going to do. Uh... Let's see. Nothing's going on. So. I spent the whole day cleaning house, doing dishes, doing laundry. Uh, man, I'd hate to think that that was the uh, best part of my day. Yeah, I spent the day working on lots of things on the computer. I'm merely working on a website, working on just my own websites. Now, I've actually, you know, basically kicked myself in the ass. And while I like the old 1990s style nightstrike.com, but I'm going to have to put something other than that up because it just, it just doesn't look good. I mean, I wanted something simple, but unfortunately... Nothing. Nothing is ever simple. So I, I'm working on fixing that. Yeah, I also mowed the lawn in 100 degree weather today too. So that was fun. Uh, out there in the chat. Uh... Gun loving grandpa Buck, he's uh, got something to play with this weekend. And the rolling trip uh, sounds like he's got a lot to play with this weekend. Uh, I hope he's got the bush hog or, you know, uh, the fish mower. You know, it, it's too bad we can't get the rolling trip to do, you know, to do a, uh, you know, off again, uh, on again, off again tractor shooting video. You know, where he gets on the tractor, shoots at a target, gets off the tractor, shoots at a target. I've never seen one of those videos. But I, I might actually have to do one, actually. I've got a tractor. It's not very big. Not great. Oh, he's got a bush hog and a flail mower. All right, all I've got is a, fin a finish mower. I don't have a bush hog. So, in fact, the finish bar I got for the tractor was broken. So, the, the pull behind one I've got, that's in the shop. So, yeah, because the pull behind one has an engine on it. And I just use the tractor to pull it. So, anyways. Yeah, 
Jason Stewart, good, good love of grandpa saying, don't say that when his wife's around. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry about that, Buck. Yeah, apparently he's spending the weekend enjoying his family, his lovely yeah. wife. Yeah. Uh, you know, thank God I didn't say anything about a crossbow or anything. Right, right. Thank God. Yeah, boy, I'm glad I didn't yeah. do that. Yeah, but uh, the girl on trip, he, he says he's gonna, uh, he's going shooting Monday with a buddy to play with a, with a new binary trigger and suppressed lever gun. Interesting. No, I assume the binary trigger is not an AR, and the lever gun is just suppressed, right? Because it'd be weird to have a binary trigger on a lever gun. Right? Yeah. Uh, couldn't you just wire the trigger back and, and keep cocking it? <laughs> I mean, you can just do what the, uh, the rifleman did, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there's a question. How come you can't put a bump stock on a lever gun? Why is that illegal? It's not going to make it fire. <laughs> it's also pointless. Well, so it's not illegal. That's the point. No, no, it's not. So. Uh, I need to get a bulk carry group. I don't want to. You got anything that's a lever action, Night Strike? No. No money for lever action. Unfortunately. But if I get a lever action gun, I want one, I want to get one in like, uh, 4570 government or, uh, I want to get one in like what, the thirty thirty. If I do get one, yeah, thirty thirty. That's what I have. The only reason I want the forty five seventy government is just because, yeah, it's ridiculous. I'd like to have one in uh, like twenty two Magnum. Yeah. Okay, so so since we're on the topic of lever guns, those out there in the chat listening, uh, participating, if you'd like to get a lever gun, if you don't have one, or if you don't have one you want, what kind of lever gun do you want? Do you want a thirty one in thirty thirty? Do you want one in forty five seventy? You know, let's let's make this a topic. I, mean, I want one in forty five seventy government. I also want one in you know thirty thirty. Though so I, I I would settle for forty four mag. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. If you call that settling. Yeah. Yeah. Forty forty four magnum. That way I could also use forty four special in it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, Stan. If you want to listen to this, I don't know. Well, we're off the chain tonight, but. Uh, now enjoy enjoy your food, Stan. Okay, so uh, Carolina EDC says he wants one in twenty two. Uh, Patriot in the Dark wants a trench gun or a street sweeper in twelve, maybe maybe even a ten. Okay, all right, all right. That's that's interesting. The Mossberg Tactical. Ah. Uh, which one is that? Is that the tactical lever gun? All right. Uh, the Foss says he wants a uh, 357 heavy pick. But Savage Sharpshooter just uh, sent a super chat in. Uh, thank you. Uh, 
Thank you, Savage Sharpshooter. He says, for gun tube or whatever, he's laughing. Tears of joy. Face, he's, he's got a laughing face with tears of joy. Thank you, Savage Sharpshooter. That really helps, man. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. So Great job but, there. Is that the sharpshooter? If uh, you were to get a lever gun, what caliber would it be in? Uh, Patriot and Dark it goes on to say, my first hunting rifle was a Savage 3030 lever action. It was made just after World War II. It was dark mahogany colored wood. Beautiful. Yeah. Wait. Oh, wait. No. He hasn't always. Never mind. Never mind. We're moving on. It's a good gun. It's a good gun. Yep, good rifle. Almost shot myself in the foot there. A Henry rifle is what I would probably get next. Um, I have uh, three older Winchesters and two older uh, Marlins. And uh, uh, I think my next step will be the Henrys. I've looked at several Henrys, and the action is just smooth as silk on them. Uh, you know, they have a slightly different look than, you know, the Winchesters and the Marlins. But uh, yeah, I think a Henry is where I'll go to next. Yeah, I mean, if I was going to get a Henry, I'd want an original Henry. You know, not 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 like an 1860s model or 1870s. I mean, I want a Henry in the you know same it, style as the original. Yeah, with the the like hex barrel, no grip in the front, the brass right. receiver. Yeah, when I meant they look a little different. Uh, the the Henry models, you know, what I mean with the wooden front grips. I mean, uh, just right. the way the barrel bands are. You know, the very tip of the barrel. Uh, you know, it's it just a slightly different look, but I mean, nothing wrong with it. Right. Uh, uh, Patreon Dark says you should check out his Remington Tactical. Ebony wood and oh so smooth. Ooh, nice. Uh, we got another super chat out there. Uh, Savage Sharpshooter uh, goes on to say he, he would like to get one in 4570. It's 2020. Some idiot scientist is going to bring dinosaurs back, and I want to be ready. Here's some more. And he goes with uh, face blowing a kiss. Thank you, Savage Sharpshooter. Thank you. Oh, no. Uh, New York Outcast says, I know I'm crazy, but I'd like to be able to put an optic on if needed for some for some reason. And it kind of looks cool to me. You know what? If, you know, if you can find an optic that'll stay, that'll hold zero while it's on a lever action, I'm not against having an optic on a lever action. I'm not against even having a scope on a lever action, okay? You know, I'm not against any of that stuff. I mean, that's that's just that's that's modern day, you know, as modern day, uh, you know, accessories. Period. I mean, yes, it's not is not period correct, but if you want a period correct rifle, you're going to pay ten times as much, you know. But if you've just got a, like a reproduction and you want to put like. You know, or you want to customize, or you just have a newer type of lever action, you just want to customize it. There's nothing wrong with that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to put a, some form of optic or scope on it. Right? I'm kind of a hypocrite on that issue. Uh, I think it's okay to put a scope on a Marlin. But I really just don't have the same feelings well, when it comes to putting a scope on a Winchester. Okay. Well, follow me here for a second. Okay. Here, I'm going to screen share for a second because I'm on the Henry side just looking at the stuff. Look at the Henry. Look at the big boy X model. I mean, I can see them, you know, in addition to putting those, uh, they, what do they, what do they put on there? Uh, what kind of sights are those? Those are those, uh, buckhorn. Those, yeah. And look, look at those. Yeah, they, they've got their sights on there like that. I can see how putting a rail on top of it, too, for optics. I can see that right there. Plus, it's already got a threaded barrel, so you can put, like, a suppressor on it. And it's it's got a foregrip. Uh, it's got, you know, rail. A for, it's got Picatinny rail on the foregrip. So 
Well, that also looks like a fiber optic site. Yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's a fiber optic yeah. site. So it's, that's what I was thinking about. So with, with, with something like this, because this is made to be tactical, okay, you know, for, for all the intents and purposes, something like this with a rail on top of the receiver, I can see somebody doing that and somebody putting an optic or scope on there. Yes, I agree with that one. You know, and I, and Henry's not the only only company that makes something like this. I remember Mossberg also makes something similar to, to this as well. Uh, I don't know if Marlin does. I think Marlin is pretty pretty much traditional, but uh, you know, Mossberg makes makes a a tactical style lever action, and you know, if you want to put an optic, that would definitely be you know the type of rifle to put it on. You know, if you were going lever action. Yeah, Marwin has some modern day, more tactical ones. I think they're set up for like a scout scope. Yeah. Okay, Patriot of Dark says, I just gave away an and O. Henry to the neighbor kid. Okay. Oh, and my outcast says a neighbor, a, uh, uh, and Henry would be my second choice. A bowling trip says that's what I have. All right. Uh, and New York Outcast says I clearly agree with Dice Drake. You never know. Yeah, you don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else. Got Love and Grandpa saying thermal scope on the Henry. Ooh, ooh. Rolling trip says Night Strike. Email heading your way. Okay. All right. You send the email. When I get it, I'll let you know. Uh, DM Foss says an old starlight scope. That might be pretty cool. That might be cool. Yeah. See, see, Patriot got the right idea when it comes to a Winchester and a crazy horse commemorative edition yeah that's that's the wrong rifle to mount a scope on yeah a commemorative edition rifle it's more or less those kind of rifles are meant to be safe queens they're not meant to be you know workhorses I mean you could use it for a workhorse but again you, you know anyways all right, we got an email. Okay, so I'm going to screen share this. So we're going to go back to the regular mood. But uh, I, I, I agree with this, this kind of setup, and this is what I'm talking about. Let me make it big for everyone. Okay, you see that? Okay, a uh, rolling chip is e emailed me this in. This is his rifle. I can agree with that kind of setup. That's a nice. That's a pretty sweet setup right there. You know, he's got some paracord on the uh, on the lever action for some traction right there. Uh, he's got a nice scope on the top. Look at that. What do you think, Jason? Yeah, that's a good setup. You know, because you know, it, it's, it's already, already threaded modern. For, yeah, it's it's already threaded for a silencer, and he's got a nice silencer on there. I mean, I'm I'm surprised he hasn't put in like a a light or you know some form of a red dot on the uh, on the bottom of the for, of the uh, foregrip because there's there's definitely a rail for it where you can put a nice light or a nice uh, laser there. Uh, I guess I'll have to admit if that rifle right there puts some food on your plate, uh, I don't think it's worth. It arguing uh how you had your rifle configured no, no. A a again you know at the end of the day it it's up to preference but if you want a modern style ri lever action rifle this is what i would imagine you know a modern lever action rifle would be but again as i said you know maybe with a, a light or so, uh, you know a uh, laser so, uh, you know a laser on the bottom as i said And uh, Roland Tripp says uh, that's going to be his son's first deer gun. Uh, he says it's his hog deer thumper. So, but either way, this is this is what I'm talking about. I mean, you can put you can put you know 
a red dot sight optic on there. It won't look as nice, but a scope, a scope I can see because it just makes it, 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 it makes it look a little better. So, and Roland Trip says it's, that's going to be his son's first deer gun. All right, all right. <laughs> oh wow, wow! NY Outcast, I would not say that to Patriot. You should feel bad for that one. So, anyway, so I will stop screen sharing this. But that that is an excellent rifle, Roland Trip. Thank you for sharing. So he says that's a tri a Trigicon AccuPoint one by four. Is that one by four or is that one two four? I think it's one by four. Yeah, a light little scope. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. not too bad. I I just was. You know, not to get mixed up, you know, I just don't like to see old Winchesters with a scope. Now, the Marlins have always been set up for a scope after the first couple of years, the 336s. And, you know, they have a pistol grip. It, it it's, it's more acceptable and more much more usable on one of those rifles. But when you have a top eject Winchester 94, I just, I just, I just think it's blasphemy to put a scope on one of those. All right, and it's a rolling trip is correct to me. He's one to one to four. That's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, Rolls Carvelis is out there saying good evening from Jacksonville, Florida. All right. Well, Rolls, if you want to jump in, here's the link out here. Everyone wants to jump in, they can jump in. Again, uh, if you're on mobile. I understand. Uh, mobile has been working. The call-in feature hasn't been working, which is making me angry. I have to go and get that fixed again. So, oh, I'll have to work on that later this evening. But, uh, yeah. You know, firefighters, you know, give me lip saying, hey, night strike, how can you strike when it's not night yet? And I told, I'm telling firefighter the same way you can be a fighter, a firefighter without a fire to fight. So, no, NY Outcast, please don't start that one again. No, not that one. Not that one. You know what I you know what else I'd like to I'd like to get? Tell us. Okay. One of those old style scopes. You know, like get getting like a uh -huh. Henry a Henry rifle with the brass receiver and getting one of those old style scopes like uh long tube scope or yeah, the, I'm not sure yeah, what they call those. Yeah. You know the the long flat tube scope? Uh -huh. Let's see. I can find find something similar. I forget the company offhand, but there's a a fairly reasonable price company that remakes a lot of those scopes. Let's see if I can find a picture of it, so people know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we just use that picture. Come on, give me a better picture. There we go. Here. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, you know, putting putting that on like an on like an old uh, Henry rifle brass receiver, you know, re, you know, reproduction, that would look pretty snazzy. But people know what I'm talking about. You know, one of the, one of those old school style scopes, put it on a Henry with a brass receiver and a hex uh, barrel. That'd be pretty cool, right? 
Yep, that would. Okay, uh, Defense Ned says, uh, at Night Strike, not for a lever gun, but I did order a sweet uh, little prism scope with an ACSS reticle for my uh, AR pistol today. Well, that's good. That's good. Awesome. All right, I'm going to stop sharing this. But I was just using that as an example so people know what I was talking about. Because, you know, if you don't if you don't give specifics, oh, boy, people's yeah. imaginations will run wild. You can get those with uh, the whole tube brass also. Yeah, I've seen that, too. But I that would cost more. I'd probably just want it, you know, to be blued with uh, brass and brass caps, you know. You know, Obnoxious One put out a video today for Skinner sights on his lever gun. Did you see that? Uh, I was kind of impressed. He actually shot very well with it. And uh, I've thought about the Skinner sights myself before. At Patriot in the Dark, what's that smart guy? I have to check your emails first. So. Hmm. So any any guns you're looking at getting? Jason? Uh, no, not really, surprisingly. Uh, huh. I'm uh, got some other things to do. It's probably going to be a little bit for a new firearm. But, uh, but don't feel sorry for me. I have plenty. <laughs> I got to get, I got to do more into some reloading gear. And, uh, uh, huh. I still need to, uh, I got to get four brand new tires on my truck and get an alignment. And, uh, I just got some things I need to get accomplished for when it gets here. Uh, Patriot the Dark says, have you guys heard of Williams Fire Sites? They're made about two miles from my house. Wow. So we talking to cowboy guns tonight? Hopped on late. Had some downtime at work. Defense Dad says, no, Defense Dad, we're just, we're just, we were talking about lever guns. And I was just mentioning that if I was going to get a lever gun, you know, if if it was if I was going to put a sight on a lever gun, it'd either be like a modern optic or red dot on like a tactical style uh, modern lever gun, or if I wanted to go old school, I would get like a you know a reproduction Henry lever gun and put one of those long long style sights on it. So. To pay, to Patriots comment about Williams fire sites. Yes, I have Williams fire sites. I've bought them before, and I don't, I don't have them. The new Beretta, well, it's not new, but the the LTT Elite Beretta from Langdon, that has Williams fire sites on it, and the Centurion and the full size ninety two X that you can buy from Beretta right now, that rear sight is a Williams fire sight. It's just shortened, just in the length, you know, front to back, not up to down. Right. But that is a Williams Fireside also. Yeah. N nice, nice try, Patriot, but I'm not blindest. And here he is himself. Yeah, there he is. He's just got to press the mute button. I don't know if he knows which button's the mute button. Hold your space button. If you're on a computer, hold your hold your space bar. No, I know how to do it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the invite. Yeah. No, I was I, I had a message come through on my phone. Well, so. I don't oh. know if you could have seen it, but I was actually posting the link to the chat out there on the YouTube on YouTube. I I was in, in between. Yeah. 
Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even. Ju- Most of the time, those links don't work for me well. You know, you gotta double tap and hold them, and then once in a while they'll grab, and then you can actually go to the link. Right. Most of the time, it just says, "Do you want to block this person?" Uh, or all right. Or pick them off, or hide them. All right. So, yeah. so qu- question <laughs> for you. Okay. Yes, yes you have. You have lever. You have lever guns, or you've had them in the past. But say, say you wanted a lever gun in a certain caliber. What kind of caliber would it be? Like, Something like I said, I, okay, I, I have that thirty-eight fifty-five, which is right. is nice because it's you know, it's nice. I mean, it um, can be a unicorn gun if you want to. You know, it's just as long as it's a lever no, action. Actually, I the one I want is was the first hunting rifle I ever used was a old Savage. It wasn't really a mahogany wood. It was just a really deep red because it was ancient. It was a, a stepdad's, dad's, you know, one of these old rifles from, you know, just after World War II. But it was a, a 30-30 Savage. And I had a scope and everything. I mean, I was a punk kid, so I don't, I don't remember what it was. But um, I loved it because it was extremely loud. And <laughs> uh, that's why he didn't like it. So he gave it to me, and he bought the uh, Winchester crazy horse and decided to have somebody mount a scope on it. And I ended up getting it back uh, 28 years later. <laughs> Same rifle, but I, I'm looking for set screws to because that was a side mount. Right. It was mounted into the receiver and they drilled right into the pretty little etchings. and Yeah. So, All right. Okay. So, and- yeah. I, I would go with... If I could find a, a lever action savage that was, a, you know, one of them old standby ones. I mean, I like Winchesters, but the, really, once you, to me, uh, grabbing a hold of uh, pretty much any rifle, then you go back to a Winchester. It, they're they're so thin and light and small. I mean, they're wonderful for you know carrying and hunting and stuff. But you know, like the the forearm and stuff, it just when you grab one of the, the older, what, 1873 or whatever they are, 76, you know, those models are just, I mean, they're, they're light, they're thin and beautiful. But one of the, the guy that owned the Ace Hardware was an FFL in my town. And that's what he right. collected with those. And he would hand, you know, hey, check this one out. And they just seem so, you know, little. Yeah. Well, Okay, I won't. I won't ask you what kind of scope or red dot you put on a lever action if you got one of the those modern yeah. ones these days. Yeah, it's a, sights and optics—they're all fads. I, I they're, know they're not going to catch on. I think I, they're I, just like computers. Yeah, I, I, I know how you feel about them. They're they're passe. Yeah. No, I, I mean, like like uh, G twenty three was saying, you know, with with the uh, Winchester or something like that. That's got one of those original flip aperture type sights or. You know, something that, that's original to the rifle, I would keep it that way. Right. Um, I, You know, like the Savage, obviously, it had a, a newer scope on it, you know, maybe from the early, late 70s, early 80s or so. You know, and so it wasn't super new or anything, but it was obviously way newer than the rifle. But, yeah. you know, if, if you're going to really molest something to, to get something oh. else on there, I mean, I would never put, you know, a, you know, a red dot or something like that on a well, we, we, you, but you could see you could see the alert to it on some of the newer tactical style, you know. Yeah, products, yeah. Right? I mean, if there's if there's no wood on it, and you like the plastic ones with all the little, and it's it's know, got it's got the rail, rail. it's got a it's got the th- thread protector for you know a silencer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, some, I look- something like that. You can see why they put like a, a not not a large scope, but just like a small one by four scope. Yeah, and that's that's. I mean, I was just looking at those, uh, like the ten twenty twos, a little right. shop, and they have the ones that have no sights on it, and it's just got the small little rail, you know. And I was like, well, you know, for a kid, I wanted the, you know, the iron sights. You know, you got to learn well, the iron. Well, 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 te- technically, that that would have been perfect for you, wouldn't it? Yeah, I, I'm getting it for my daughter. Oh, my daughter's oh, twelve, and I want iron yourself. sights. And- I thought I thought you were buying for yourself, no. My no, problem. no, My yeah, no. I've I've got a Winchester one ninety three. It it's uh, I've just 
I just got it, and it's it's not mine unless I buy it. You know, I, I was reworking it, was stuck. The the action was really it's a semi auto twenty two, but it it sticks and it was really bad. And, you know, I took it all apart and the springs and all that stuff and cleaned everything out. So it's, it's obviously it's working a lot better now, but it was, it was gummed up, you know, cause they're so hard to clean. It's not like, you know, where you got a lot of openings and you just drop the trigger and all that stuff on those. So. Right. 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 I'm sorry. I don't mean to take over. No, no, it's, it's fine. Hey, something <laughs> to talk about is better than nothing to talk yeah. about tonight. You know? Yeah. Cause I was supposed to have a, a little range day with my daughter first time. Um, and I was supposed to be like last, like two weeks ago. And right. uh, the people, the group that was coming up, didn't come up and this and that. And I, I didn't have a 22. I don't own a 22. Right. And really? you know, I get the, I got the buck Mark, uh, pistol, but you know, I didn't have any rifles. And so, I, you know, I borrowed this from my, my stepdad and stuff and got his stuff. I thought well, you would been, have had it like a 1022 or like a Marlin Model 60 or something. When I was a kid, yeah. But no, I all the stuff I have now, I I bought within the last eight years or so. Yeah, because the stuff that I had when I was a kid, that's all been gone since I was a kid. You know, you go in the Marine Corps, the parents kind of just sell everything, and give it away or whatever. They don't right, much come right. home. You know, they actually moved when I was in boot camp. And so when I got out to come home, yeah, they 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 had moved, but anyway. <laughs> wow, you gotta love parents. But That's yeah, so I, I was trying to find a rifle for my daughter to learn, and yeah, you know, the only one I could find it's got a scope on it, and I was like, eh, I don't really want her to start off with a scope, but. I mean, if I wanted to, I could put a uh, scope on my Savage sixty four. So. I mean, I mean that that's that's a twenty two. I got that from you know ninety nine bucks at Walmart. So you know, it's like I thought it was gonna be like one hundred and twenty five or one hundred forty, like uh, like the uh, the tactical uh, you know you know hunter camo version was. He rung it up and it was like ninety nine bucks, and I'm like, yes, please. Yeah, I was surprised because I had just checked you know with that thing with Matt doing all you know the three hundred dollar gun thing. All my local shops, I don't have anything that's any anything that was was uh, you know jumping out at me. Right. And so I I called up the Walmart or whatever, but you know, I, I'm not going to buy anything up there. But they did have several that were you know hundred dollar. Um, right. One. But and I'm in the middle of uh, you know uh, on that project. I've got to screw the uh, the stud. I've got to get my drill and drill out holes for the uh, sling studs because the stock doesn't have sling studs. So I can put on the sling because I've got one of those, uh, I went and got one of those shotgun slings where they, it holds 25 uh, shot shells. Oh, okay. You know, like a bandolier style sling. Yeah. Yeah. And then I put a side saddle on it too as well with five, with five, with you know, one of those five shot side saddles. So, yeah, I mean it's a break open single shot twelve gauge shotgun. So you know if if I don't have that additional stuff with me, uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get it out of the box. Yeah. You know, especially in a zombie type situation. In a zombie type situation, you want that extra ammo. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I I had everything set up and I was going to put it together, but yeah, I don't. I probably won't. Because I was going to do the single shot, but with a uh, instead of a bayonet, I've got a, a pistol crossbow that I was attaching. So it was, yeah. But that was kind of a, a four four end grip or whatever. A vertical front grip was actually the grip of the pistol. So that didn't come together though. Right, right. Well, so if yeah. anybody wants to use that idea, I won't even tax you. <laughs> Oh, you're being generous tonight. Yeah. Jason, we're kind of we're kind of inching into your uh the, I know you're not doing your show tonight, but uh you know, we're getting into that uh, time zone territory. So, yeah, uh don't worry about me. I don't, I don't have to worry about you. No. Are you doing okay now? 
Oh, yeah, we're doing fine. I just didn't want to do a show. Uh, and uh, just before the evening here, I just got some things I need to work out. And, uh, just didn't really feel like doing a show and being up after that. I just want to make sure I get a good night's sleep as well. <laughs> All right, I can't fault you for that. I can't fault you for that. So, so NY, NY Outcast says, I can remember the first time I was driving on a back road and came across a firefighter standing in the middle of the road with a boot. I had no idea what was going on and kept driving like a, uh, like a hua. <laughs> supposed to throw in your change. Yeah, you're supposed to throw in your change or like a dollar or two, dude. So, so I already sent you a link. So, there we go. Uh, and my outcast says, "My apologies to your fellow fireman." Wow. Otherwise, you also have to look and see if he's got both his boots on, and if he's only got, you know, he's got his boots on and he's holding the boot. You got to look for his buddy and see where he's at. Maybe he's in the side. You know, you got to help him out. Generally, that's just an extra boot that they had on. Oh, hand. okay. <laughs> because from what I hear, you know, some fire departments order boots and pairs of three instead of two. <laughs> Come on, that was funny. Mm. Yeah, that was good. I was just wondering if there's extra left or extra right. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it's probably right because they want to be right all the time. Mm. You know. So so do you have a topic? No, no, we're just 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 us talking. I'm talking to the people on YouTube. That's all it is. Just hanging out. Well why don't you why don't you throw out there of ideas for a challenge or a for a giveaway? Uh, the, the I'm, I'm is... looking to give some stuff away, but I, I wanna you know, do do some kind of thing Oh okay, give, give give us more specific so people don't say ridiculous things. I, I, well, I, I don't know. I mean, it just depends. I, I broke a thousand today. <gasps> so, oh my, you, you, yeah, you're, you're I did with eligible. my eyes closed. Yeah, right. So. I, I know. And that's <laughs> awesome. You're almost eligible for, you know, monetization. Not, not, yeah. to, you do that kind of thing, but again. Yeah, I know. I don't usually do that, but you know, if, uh. I, I did I, it because it, it's it's a fun way to interact with with viewers. So, just I just that's I just need co-host. That's all. Right, right. You need co-host. <laughs> that's that's the problem. There's not a lot of good co-hosts out there. Congrats on that, Patriot. Yeah, that's pretty you. awesome. I just broke a <laughs> hundred tonight. The first milestone. Oh, yeah. NY Outcast is trying to get it rigged already. He's saying, make it who has the best tan. Make it who has the best tan. Am I the judge? Because you all look black to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I can, I can say that and I can get away with it because it's not, uh, you know, because everybody is black. Everything is black to me. So, Well, that, that's, that's why it's funny to us. Yeah. I, I was yeah. like the perfect that, setup That's kind of hard to judge, you. I think, at least for yeah. me. <laughs> Well, then you might have to, you know, bring along someone you trust, like your daughter or something. Oh, so, really? I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She's she's uh. She's not old enough yet for that kind of thing. Well, with you guys, probably not. <laughs> well, you, you can always <laughs> no, make, I trust a, her, but... make a requirement that they have to be clothed. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Yeah. Apparently, MLA Outcast says, dang it. <laughs> so, you know, he, he's already lost that one. He hasn't even submitted submitted a video yet. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so. But, yeah. Uh, I got to get with and start doing and uh, figure out what I'm going to do for that giveaway that I'm doing. Because, uh, you know, I've got, I've got that one uh, that sign slash you know painting metal painting thing of a uh of a shotgun loader uh i've got a uh a barbecue uh shotgun lighter and 
I've got a a, a pistol rack, uh, you know, one of those uh, well, stack on pistol racks to give mm-hmm. away. So, I mean, I might, you know what? I, 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 I might even just, you know, for the hell of it, just throw in a bottle of a like, gun tube CLP with it too. It I've got good. enough. I've got enough of them lying around, so I'll, I'll throw that in too. <laughs> I just got to figure out how I'm going to do it. How am I going to do a fair one this time? Because you know, Gizzard Gary's excluded because he won the last one, and people are, people called foul on that one, and they literally called foul. So, so Gizzard Gary can't win that one. Uh, Mr. Guns is out there saying hi. Hello, man. Hi, Stacy. I always call her man. <laughs> then she knows I'm talking to her. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's that's why. Okay. That's why. But, yeah. So no good ideas, uh, huh? No, no, no. Just just in my ass saying the uh, the tan. I don't know. You can do trivia. Yeah. Now I want what you got to. They got to do something. You know, something to promote. You know, uh, other channels or you know. The Second uh, Amendment. Something. Uh, yeah, that or. I don't know. Well, you know, you, thinking. You, 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 you've got time to figure it out, man. You've got time. Yeah, I've, well, I've been, I've been, I'm still, I still got to do my 500 giveaway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gun Library Garrett, she's out there saying hello. Hello, Gun Library Garrett. How you doing, buddy? So, but, yeah, you know, just, just, you know, come up with a couple ideas, write a few ideas down or something. Yeah, I, I mean, I did the the when I first started, I did the blind challenge, and I got what seventy two videos out of that, so, or maybe sixty two. Yeah. I, I got like seventy two in that folder now, or the playlist. I I, I, I I couldn't do that one because I kept on messing up. We we yeah, we, that's the we, we all know we all know what happened when Night Strike tried to clean a gun in low light. Uh, I'd hate I'd, I'd hate to see what happens if I try and clean it in no light. I just I've got a pair of gloves that I was sent from Blind Grilling. Now, if you don't know who Blind Grilling is, he's he does uh, he's got a uh, was that five O C, whatever the the charity, but he 501C3. does five O one C three. Yeah, but he, what he does is he he's a, obviously grills, but he uses the green egg, and he's got a, a charity that he finds uh, visually impaired, um, either veterans or first responders, and they donate basically a whole system, the the Bluetooth um, temperature control and how you can control it with your phone and stuff from inside your house. You know the whole whole setup. It's really cool. That's but, nice. Um, he sent me a pair of Kevlar gloves, which are I I don't use them; they're they're brand new. But um, I could send them to you, and then any of those sharp things wouldn't cut you. You know, I I I, I, may, I might have to take you up on that offer because <laughs> next time I completely disassemble that 1911, I don't want to have to have a trip to the uh, emergency room. You know, but but at least I'm, the next day I'm not going to get my CWP. So, mm-hmm. no, I, I already passed it. You know, even though I got four hours of sleep and I was on painkillers, but hey, you know, you you can't keep a good night strike down. I'm just surprised they let you use that shotgun for your your uh, <laughs> test. Yeah, like you can see the target. Don't give me that. <laughs> it actually wasn't nearly that bad. Yeah, I probably could have placed it a little bit better. But the issue is every every f- shot I fired made it onto the paper. May have not made it onto the you know printed target part portion, but it still hit the paper. So, 
yeah, I had a couple strays. I had a couple groups that didn't do so well. So, you know. Anyways, uh, was... Gun Library Garrett says he's he's doing he's doing very good. Uh, he said uh, Arrow Precision ordered uh, seven new CNC machines to increase manufacturing. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, he also goes on to say, uh, he says, hi, back, by the way, Mystic. Didn't mean to ignore you. Ah, uh, he's ignoring Mystic. Oh, boy. That, them's, them's liable to get you in trouble. You know how you know how Stacy is sometimes. Oh boy, don't get her angry. Snob said she's all talk on the internet. He well, keeps gotta, her, He said he keeps her in her place. Uh, that's I, I've heard that too. I've heard that too. So. Well, I got a package arriving tomorrow. I got some oh, you, ammo you coming in. Ooh, what kind of ammo did you get? Uh, I I got I got a problem. I admit it. I have a problem. I have to buy stuff, and so I went through and I was looking on Ammo Seek, and you know you catch catch these things, and it's like I I am not going to spend a dollar around for two two three or five five six and this yeah, and that. Five. And you know, then you you look, and then it drops down a little bit, and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa maybe that's not so bad. And then it's still a bad because it's like seventy five cents. So I held off until I found it for uh, forty, forty eight or forty nine cents, whatever. I don't know, it's like just under three hundred bucks I spent. But so whatever, you know. And then then the funny thing is, I I looked at another one of the those search sites. Where you can search out, you know, different uh, companies or whatever, and it came up with one, and it said twenty four cents a round for two two three brass, uh, and I was like, no, what, you know? So I'm I'm clicking as fast as I can because I'm thinking, you know, man, I've, I've got to get on this, and just before I hit buy, it said be available four twenty one, so that was for next year, but I just can't believe they had it on that site. So I guess you pre-order for next year or something. Yeah, yeah. Now you can pre-order for next year. That's how bad. The I just like what? Is. Well, it just it freaked me out because I, you know, I, I I just you know bought you know five hundred rounds or whatever, and so then I see this and it's like half price. I was like, oh, I'm I'm clicking, I'm I'm getting excited, and it's on my phone, so you know it, it takes it takes a minute to go through. And then I was like, wait, what did that say? Twenty one. Yeah, yeah. Next year. But I didn't think that no, – normally the sites, they don't list them, do they, if they're not in stock? Yeah, some yeah. sites don't list them. Some sites are doing pre-order. You know, oh. it just depends on the company. It's like that, – that was crazy. So I have not anyway. seen or heard of that yet, pre-order. Well, I it said, well, may be available by 421 or something. But it was still – still said you could add it. You know, I don't know if – Maybe I was just, you know, getting too excited or whatever and skipped over it, but I don't, I don't oh, know. Oh, you're definitely you know. getting excited. You're definitely Yeah, well, excited. yeah, you know, when when you're looking at it for for weeks that it's, you know, a dollar and you know, you don't need it, but you're like, Well, maybe I I I could if I want to go to the range, you know, gotta have a little extra. But. Yeah, I'm right right now if I go outside and I shoot anything, I'm shooting the twenty two or the AK. Just because of the, I'm still able to get ammo for both of those, and the ammo is still reasonably priced as, you know, opposed to like two, two, three, or five, five, six. Even three oh eights getting to be a little bit scarce. Yeah, my my local shop they had I'd went in there. Uh, it was actually right as they opened because this was my favorite shop. Took an extra month off. You know, because they were actually following, you know, the rules instead of trying to slide around and, like the other shops. But I went in there and I bought, I don't know, like five, 500 or so. I don't know, about that much, you know, on all different ammo. So anything they had, I just, you know, I grabbed a couple just because I wanted to give, you know, them money. It was more than what it would have been ordering online or something. But I bought two 
two boxes that are 500 rounds of 22 each, and they were $35 each. So I got 1,000 rounds for $70, which I don't know if that's good or not, but for a local shop, I thought it was, was good. Because normally they're they're you know they're a little bit more or whatever, but I think that was still a, a good price maybe. I don't know, probably not. But I don't. I bought it and it's like, well, shoot, I, I don't even have you know a rifle to shoot it. So now I do. But you know that's just like me. I don't have I don't I don't have a rifle to shoot it out of yet, even though I ordered it. But I'm looking for thirty out six uh, for for M ones. Mm. And guess what? Everybody's out of stock. So yeah, I go back to my shop now. They they're like, yeah, we don't have anything. And yeah, yeah. I went to my local. I went to my local shop, and he all, all he's got is AK ammo. A couple of weeks ago, I went over to the other side of the state and went to a couple of shops, and it was a custom shop and stuff, and. I was trying to find a lower because in my area, you can't find a lower for anything, you know, and if you order it online, all my shops are the transfer fees are $50. So, you know, for a lower, you spend a hundred bucks and it's stripped, you know, there ain't nothing, you know, it's just, it doesn't set well with me. So I was checking for them and ran into Dunham's over there on the other side of the state. And they had a, it was a Delton, but um, it was, you know, the, Sierra, I guess. De- Deltons aren't that bad. I mean, no, I know people give them shit because they're they're like bottom of the barrel, like Anderson, but they're not that bad. Yeah. Well, this this was you know a complete rifle. It's flat top. There's no sights or anything on it. But um, they had uh, I think a hundred dollars off on it. And so you know when my local shops were selling all their you know bottom of the barrel stuff. For a thousand dollars, and they said, "Yeah, we can't get anything in." So they, you know, their their prices obviously went up. You know, they haven't had AKs or anything in there, and so I was like, "Well, this, you know, I can get it for you know five hundred, five fifty, you know." So long story short, they they wouldn't let me do it because I only had two guys to sign uh, witness that I filled out my paperwork, being a blind guy. And so I they ended up calling the the shop that's over by my house, and I went in there and all this stuff but as i'm standing there some lady comes in and says hey you got uh nine millimeter and he's like oh, well i got two boxes but they're set aside for somebody that called and this lady's like oh yeah yeah that was me and so he's like oh okay so he gave it to her and she walked up to the front and not five minutes later this guy comes in and he says yeah i called and you you saved two boxes for me i just couldn't believe that people are <laughs> that grimy I was like, yeah, if you turn around, that, that lady, you can probably hit her in the back of the head. She's right up there. <laughs> Took your... Oh. Wow. So, yeah. But I told him to go over to my local shop, so hopefully he fared well. All right. Well, I think we're just... We've been live long enough for for it to be an hour. Uh, Jay Brown is out there. How's it going, Jay Brown? Uh, has anybody got another topic to talk about? Otherwise, I'm I'm all for putting a fork, sticking a fork in it, and going and eating some food. Uh, maybe real quick. I just thought it was funny. Did uh, you see the latest about the mayor of Portland? I have not. What's going on with the mayor of Portland? Um, they're going to have to have a runoff election or something like that, the primary, whatever. Uh, his next election, his opponent is an Antifa member. So that city is either going to be stuck with the same or possibly worse. I mean, how is that any different than, you know, the, the mayor they've got now? I mean, they literally let let the, those people basically uh, walk all over the, uh, you know, the city. I understand that. Oh, I saw an image today that was really funny that I had to uh, I had to share. Uh, I, I know, Patriot, you you can't technically see it, but 
it's two guys in the back of a van, you know, unloading boxes that say emergency Democrat votes. Hmm. <laughs> you see? That's great. <laughs> I saw this and I, I had to share. I had to share because that that's funny. Yeah, it's so, a it's a delivery truck stacked <laughs> full of boxes and they're all marked emergency democratic votes. Yeah. yeah. Emergency democrat votes. I'm 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 sorry, I'm not trying to bring politics in it. I'm just that's funny. <laughs> no matter what, that is funny. So they got their little blue uniforms on and everything. Yeah. So, looks it, look, it looks like they uh they stole Chief's van. You know. Only open in the case of democracy. Oh, 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 oh! Ooh, don't tempt them. But that was just one of the funny images I saw today. I had to, I had to share with this. It's just, yeah. Oh, did, did you hear what I, what CNN said today about uh, President Trump? It's all lies. Oh, I know, I know. But th- 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 this is funny. I'm like. Uh, they they've run run out of things to actually you know talk you know they've run out of fake things to talk about so they have to just come up with shit. So today they said Trump won't stop interfering in the election. President Donald Trump is the election meddler in chief. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, that's why you guys are unloading boxes from the backs of from the back of vans. So you gotta put CNN on the side of that man. Well. I had another image where you know I showed it. I showed it the other day. Basically, it was an image of Pearl Harbor. You know the sh- the uh, battleships getting bombed, and it said you know it was it was a C- it looked like a CNN article. And it was like if CNN existed in 1941, you know Japanese flyovers are mostly peaceful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. Did you uh, hear the governor of New York? told Trump he wasn't welcome to come back. And if he comes back, he better bring an army with him. You know, that's not his... That is The governor cannot tell you where you can and can't live and where you can and can't go. And that's he said, against the law. And just to be clear, he said, make no mistake about it, the COVID crisis in New York is all Donald Trump's fault. Don't blame um, anyone but him. It is all his fault. And he's not welcome to come back to New York. And if he comes back, uh, make sure you bring an army. And I thought it was neat. Uh, I heard a reporter said uh, uh, the people that live in New York City need an army to walk safely down the street. Yeah. Well, so what's for dinner? Uh, ham and potatoes. Ham and potatoes. Ham, ham, with peaches mm. and potatoes. So, mm. get hungry. Just thinking about. It. Anyways, uh. Mm. Anyone, uh, any other uh, comments or news articles people want to talk about? Never forget Kyle Rittenhouse because the news and everybody wants us to forget him. So we always have to keep mentioning Kyle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. poor Kyle. Remember, 
Or, or remember, don't tread on me. Let's see. There we go. Don't tread on me. Oh, I love it. That's great. <laughs> that, 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 that's Kyle, by the way. Granted, they, they, they uh -huh. made it look like a like an actual, a normal rifle instead of a uh, AR, but that's him. That's right. Just you know, as a lesson, that boy was there yeah. doing a man's job, and the only thing he's guilty of is trying to do too much and to help oh. too much. So, and three people ran after kid, him. Uh, people, three people ran after him with handguns. So, yeah, you, you play. You know, you, you don't bring a handgun to a rifle fight. I guess is the uh, is the takeaway from that. Uh, yeah, you don't rush somebody with a rifle and try to take it from them. Those, yeah. those three people were stupid, and they died because of their stupidity. And when, that one day with the skateboard, just what was he doing there in the first place? I mean, seriously. You, you don't bring a skateboard to a gunfight either. It's just... And, you know, we all brought it up. The one dude is a convicted... Sex offender, convicted, time served, whatever. He acted like a an idiot, and uh, you know, I mean, Kyle I mean, took care of him, which everybody wished would have happened years ago. So if you are going to charge him, that one shouldn't even count. This one is still my favorite. So I wouldn't say bring anything to a gunfight because that's not what it was. It was don't attack somebody. If you don't want yeah, to don't die. attack someone. So I would say it that way because when you say, oh, don't bring a skateboard to a gunfight, well, it wasn't a gunfight. It was you attacking somebody and you pay for it. So. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. We're, we're going to call it. Uh, we're not getting any more comments out there. It's not and it seems like everybody mo everybody's moved on. They so, heard a ham and potato, so they ran away. They well, said, oh. Can't believe you eat that stuff. Yeah. Well, boiled dinner. Uh, anyways, we'll uh, we'll see you guys later. You take it easy. Uh, thanks for hanging out. We'll be back again tomorrow tomorrow evening. Doing pretty much the same. Uh, so if you're around tomorrow, we'll see you tomorrow. So with that, uh, shout out me infringed. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you later. Good night, everybody. Take care. Hold on. I, I, I got to do a better one. That, that wasn't good enough. Shut up, be infringed. <laughs> Shut up, be infringed! There we go. And with that, what does this button do?